I am inclined rather for the souls that are imperfect, because most of us have imperfect souls. We are all, we all have to face certain temptations and this, you have to come to a decision, you know. Sometimes it, it is in the moment, you don't know exactly what to do, and you react maybe instinctively. You don't have sufficient time to reason it out, what you're going to do. Sometimes you do, and you should come, of course, to the right decision. I want to accentuate one particular thing. You know, we live in a society where children don't always respect their parents the way they should. You know, they contradict them and whatnot. I belong to a different generation. I would never have dared to contradict my father. You know, according to Jewish tradition, you can't sit in a seat at the table. There's a certain respect that you have for your father, but we are losing that, I think, in our generation, maybe also because technology is advancing so far, so fast that each generation knows more than the previous one, much more. You, you want to know how to use an iPad? You take a two-year-old, a three-year-old, he immediately knows what to do. A six-year-old is a genius at it, what some of us can't manage after hours uh, of working with. We don't know how to do it. Well, it seems that, as they say in Yiddish, the eggs are smarter than the chickens. This is what is happening. But that is not something new. I have read already writings from the Greeks at the time of Socrates where they said the young people don't respect their elders. You know, it's not like it used to be. You know, it's not, it's not nothing new. This has happened throughout the generations. You know, you don't get respect as you wish you could. These are the times and you have to adjust yourself to the times. But I think there's something that maybe we do not appreciate sufficiently. You tell your son, listen, you have to do your homework. You tell your son, you know, this girl is not necessarily for you. You tell your son, don't smoke pot. You know, certain things, you know, he's not listening to you. What does this old man know? He doesn't know. But don't think so. Your words aren't just air. They just don't disappear. Even they react, even though that the reaction that you obtain is maybe one of rejection at the moment, you have left a message that will be remembered. I think this is what Joseph is telling us, you know. He was already separated for years from his father, but at certain moments he remembered what his father's reaction would be. Not any teachings, but the whole life, the whole environment that he had at home was contrary to what he was about to do. So don't complain so much about the fact that your children don't listen to you and therefore what's the use? What am I going to say? He's not listening anyway. You're making a mistake. He is listening. Maybe he's not reacting at the moment, but you're leaving an imprint. Make sure that your child that your friend knows exactly what your moral principles are. Because in the long run, you'll be surprised how the example that you set for him will have an imprint in his future actions.